fucking temp. Why? Let me tell you why. When the step card in me. Oh God, what you talking about? When the step card in me. You said God. What? When the step card in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. When the step card in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. That's why his blood bled red and made the curse dead. And instead, we're supposed to make sure that when we break bread, it's not by alcohol that we are led. We are led by the spirit. We obey, not to say we prove it. When we do it to the world, we say screw it. We go through it. Ain't nothing to it. So just thinking we could do it. How we do it, man? Then we move it all the feet to the beat. All the pain and the mean. All the fun of the pain. Hello, hello, hello. It is I, Mr. Devil. Devil Slayer, my other 100% half, my other 100% whole is not here today. Um, she's doing her thing. And uh, just shouts out and salute to you, Mrs. Devil Slayer. So I'm Mr. Devil Slayer, and I'm the other 100% whole of uh, the love chapters. And we are on the Jerry Royce Positive Power 21 Radio Network. Shouts out to you, Jerry. Uh, Me and my wife, we love you so much. And I'm sure the radio world does too. The internet radio world. Salute to you, Jerry, a.k.a. the Batman. And salute to the whole uh, uh, Jerry Royce Positive Power 21 Network family. We love you, really. And we love you, our fans. Hallelujah. So, yes, I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. And, um, wow, what a weekend. It was cold, cold, cold. I had a long Johnson. I was still cold. Man. So, um, you know, hey, listen, we just got to bear with it and thank God that we just got a warm touch of Jesus on on us and in us to keep us warm. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me pray in real quick and we'll get this um, this show started. Hallelujah. Um, Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that today is the best day. It was the best day. Now it's nighttime. So it is the best evening. Father God, hallelujah. I thank you so much that you had us walk with you, Father. I thank you so much that you had us walk in excellence, Father God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that you had us walk in love today. And I thank you that you had us do better today than we did yesterday, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you so much uh, for everybody who's listening. We thank you for those that are coming to the line. We thank you for those that couldn't come to listen but are here in spirit, um, Father, listening. Hallelujah. We just thank you that all hearts and minds will be open to the word that we have to say to you today. Demon, you are not wanted here. You got to stay out. You are fangless, toothless, and clawless. Hallelujah. We win. We win. We have the victory in Christ Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus, King of King, Lord of Lords, Lord of King, King of all Lords, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Amen. So let's talk. All right. So we had two fabulous, fabulous sisters. The twins, the Irish twins. We had uh, Jade on two weeks ago. Then we had um, Jewel on her sister. And then uh, they were on together last week. And those two sisters, those two Christians, they are turning the the they they're turning hell upside down with what their with what their goals are in life in Christ the things that they are doing um and that they're going to do the things that I've been uh uh me and my wife have been talking to about behind the scenes you could just see that uh this this age this this um generation um x is on to new and better things. They are taking the world by storm. And I don't care what anybody says, Generation X has gotten a raw deal. They're not all of them are, are discombobulated and lost and, and on drugs and, and drink till they stink and they're not drunk as skunks and high as kites. That's a lie. That's a lie. The, the devil's a lie. Okay. These two uh, 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 fabulous young women are, uh, they are total. Um, uh, great examples of Christ. So I'm like, I'm wondering who, how, how does this happen? And let me tell you how it happens. It happens with the with the prayers of a mother. It happens with the prayers of parents. If you got some praying parents that's looking out for you, guess what? You are 
the, the, who, 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 who they're praying for, trust me, trust me, they are going to make it. They're going to make it. And so I got my eyes, I got my hands on the mother of the, these two wonderful children. And her name is the prayer warrior herself, Sister Desiree. And I want to welcome her to the line right now. Hello, Desiree. Hi, how are you? Happy oh. Blessed Monday. How yes. are you doing tonight? Oh my gosh, we're doing well. I'm doing well. And um, I, I just got to say, you know, from knowing you, Sister Desiree, you have been on fire for the Lord in prayer and just your whole continence and well-being. So just before we really get started on this show, all right, to, to you know, I got, I got two individuals that can tell me more about you, make sure that you tell the truth, as which I know you're going to do. I got your two daughters on the line. I wanted to surprise you with that. I got Sister Jade and Sister Jewel. They are here and they are in the house. Would y'all like to say something to your mommy? Yes, we here. <laughs> Hello. 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 Sister Desiree, um, yeah. how? I mean, they they have told. I mean, first of all, I already know you, all right. So I know how you get down, but the the, the stories, the the um, the honor that they show you. Why? why how was it that? Okay, okay. So first, first off, I I minister to a lot of. Uh, uh, young people, and a lot of them do not reverence or honor their parents because their parents is showing out. So no wonder they're showing out. How, how is it that, why is it that your children honor you so much? What is it that you do? What is it that you did? Um, I would say, first of all, prayer. I was prayed for throughout our generation by my mm. great grandmother, Eula Mae Porter. Also, under the teaching of Pastor Dr. Bush, mm. Sr., at the Walker Memorial Baptist Church in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's always been embedded in us to have God in our life and to put Christ first. I came from a praying family. Amen. 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 Um, and so. Uh, so, so did, were your parents uh, prayer warriors? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. So this is all in the family. Yes. You know what? I think I think that's the key right there. I think I think that somewhere along the line, the you know you know because what happens is is that what I find out in a lot of families. Uh, uh, and and especially the young people, uh, I see generational curses rearing his ugly head. And it's so good to hear that, you know, this is the opposite of a generational curse. This is a generational blessing of going to church and, and praying and so forth and so on. What would say you? What do you think? I believe that is true. I'm living it. So it's this prayer and this belief and this faith and this just holding on to God's unchanging hands. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Sister Jewel, what do you say about that? I believe in that. Just keep hanging on. I'm still holding on to God's hand. Still holding on. Wow, that makes that 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 really means something, Sister Jewel. What do you think? You meant to say Jade. <laughs> oh, Jade. Ah, you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I agree with both of them. God is very important. He's alive and he's all around us and he creates everything. And so holding on to him is super important. I definitely agree and I live by them words every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Sister Desiree, you are a perfect example. Um, Praise God. Yeah. You, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, but besides the simple fact that both of these both of these women are just like so intelligent and super loquacious and eloquent with the way that they speak, uh, they they speak of God with such a vibrancy and an energy. It really it beleaguers me because, um, um, you know, we we me and my wife we've taken them under the wing to 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 really uh, uh continue on with what you have started, and it's such a blessing. To hear them um, um, so 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 crunk for Christ, as, as you might say, hype for Holy Spirit, you know, um, it's a it's a wonderful thing. How how did you keep up the uh, how did you keep up the the the, the, the tradition? Your, your your daughter Jewel even went as far as say it was almost like ritualistic that you did the things that you did. How was you able to instill that in them? Um, Sister Sister Jade said the last time she said that you know you allowed her to go out, but she knew that come Sunday you come into church. What what what, what yeah. drove you to be like that? My great grandmother Eula Porter she did the same to me because. I also um, went out at night and she would say, all right, you're going out. Tomorrow is church. Mm -hmm. And she made sure no matter what I did, if I call myself going out to party, to go to the movies, whatever it may have been, I knew Sunday morning I was going to church. So I just did the same thing to my children that was done to me. Wow. And it, and, and, and it worked. Yes. Praise wow. God. Wow, wow, wow. So, um, I'm, you know, the reason why, uh, uh, you know, I, I kid with you and say, can, can we adopt your daughters? But, you know, I need to, I, I, I should have adopted you as a mother, you know, because, no, no, oh, no, <laughs> no, thank you. no oh, amen, God. amen. Yeah, no, no, because, because my mother right now, now she taught us how to pray. She taught us about God. She taught us about love, but she, didn't teach us how you did your children. Like there was a there was a gap there where where we didn't go to church. Okay. And so when I was stepping outdoors, the most my mom's told me was, you know, I had to kiss her before I left. Um but 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 the one but what she told me was not to it wasn't uh all right, we're going to church tomorrow. It was make sure you wear the big C. Oh, you know what the big C is. Okay. Uh, you know, make sure you bring your condoms with you. That's it. You, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So that, yes. that, that was the breakdown. <laughs> that was the <laughs> breakdown that where, where um, Christ wasn't instilled in me. Church wasn't instilled with me. So that's the only, that's the only thing that's so important for parents to know out there that you got to you got to keep on impressing on your children about the point, importance not just of Christ but of church as well right we'll, yes. yeah yes mm -hmm. that's correct mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's what i did mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we asked um jewel and we asked jay what it was like to uh be around um of uh, the many children that you had. Um, but what was it like to be the mother to raise all of them? Well, um, it was okay because I came from a large family. Uh -huh. And um, I guess I was sort of like used to it. And since I'm the oldest sibling, either my mother or my great grandmother always say, oh, you have to watch them. You're the oldest. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> ironically, I used to say, I ain't never having no kids. Wow. So, but look at God. He knew better. He didn't hear me say that. He said, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to show her just how good that she's going to be with her own children. And I'm going to be right there leading and guiding her along the way. And he still is. He has never left me and he has never forsaken me. Amen. And I thank him. Hallelujah. Praise go to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, 
How many children do you have? I have eight. And um, my stepson, Corey. Okay, so that's nine. What makes it nine? <laughs> oh my God! You know, <laughs> you fit the perfect um, um, your 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 drive as well. Now I can see why your children have vibrancy because you have drive in the Lord in Christ. And you know, the the, the scripture that comes to mind is Luke one verse forty five. Is um, Luke one? It says um, in verse forty five. Write this down. Here, right? It says, "And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to." Her from the Lord, you know, you, um, I'm I'm sure you, you, of course you hear from the Lord and, um, yeah. And, and you just, you, you had your children, you was a prayer warrior, you prayed over them. And, and now you see the, now you see the fruit of your prayers. Yes. God is good. Oh my gosh. Um, Jade. When yes. yes, when your mom said, when your mom used to tell you, you can go out, but make sure you go to church, or make sure we go to church tomorrow, right? What, yes. When she said that, how, when when she would say that to you, how did you feel? Do you did you feel like, oh man, I got to go to church the next day? <laughs> you know, how did you feel when she gave you that, you know, that 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 freedom? Um, I just, I felt like, <laughs> it just felt like I could go do what I want to do, but at the end of the day, I got church in the morning, so it's still, it's crazy because it's the same thing when I'm out here in Atlanta, let's say I want to go out on a Sunday night, like, but I know in the morning, I teach in the morning, so I know I could go have my fun, but priorities and responsibilities in the morning, and I know that God was very important in my, in my life, I knew that he was important in my household, I know that he was very important to my mom, and I knew that she was serious about her work. She was going to give me that tap in the morning, so that's what that was like. It was like being able to go out, but then also just knowing that church was in the morning, and it wasn't really like a, oh, man, it was just like, I don't know, it's no reason to get upset, because it happens every week, so why are you getting upset, girl? You know what it is, so going out with it. <laughs> did, you, did you look at that as love? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Well, now that I'm 21, reflecting on it, that it actually is love. Yeah. It is love. It's wow. her still letting me know, like, your principles. Like, mm-hmm. always stick to your principles, your morals. God is still, in the morning, it's still Sunday. And God is still very much alive. Amen. So, because I wasn't probably, you know, I wasn't probably thinking about God in the morning. I'm thinking about having fun with my friends going out on a Saturday night. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she was the reminder, like, yeah, after Saturday, it's Sunday, girl. Gotcha. Very much. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Ju- Jewel. Yes, sir. Were you, were you the going out type? Um, I probably wasn't up until I was about 16. Mm-hmm. And then the little freedom and my mom did so the same thing. Mm-hmm. Make sure you know you're going to church mm-hmm. in the morning, which thinking back on it, that was probably good. I mean, a night out, you don't know what spirits and things are around you and what mm. you're doing, and then wake up the next morning in mm-hmm. the safest place on Sunday is the church, and that's where I was at, getting cleansed. So, so you knew that that was best for you at that time? Possibly, yes. I think when I was 16, that's when I started being a little more worldly, well, lukewarm. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I was into the church, but I was also into the world. So, but I've always enjoyed church growing up. So knowing I was going to wake up either way for church didn't really bother me. And like Jake said, my mom was going to come in the room and shake us up. <laughs> either way, you want to go up last night? Get up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So. Wow. Um, mom, how do you feel? How, how do you? How do you feel about this? That you, that you, that you, that you, that you stood, you stood on that. How, how do you, how do, how do you feel that you hear your daughters talking to, talking about this now? 
I feel blessed. I feel like a job well done from Eula Mae Porter, my great-grandmother, because this is what she did to me and the rest of my siblings. And I just passed it right on down to my own children. So I feel like I did the right thing, and I feel that God is still with us. And I'm very proud. I'm really, like, so full. My cup is overrun with just joy and happiness and love and just to be alive and to see your children enjoy love and to talk about it with you or to others and know that they appreciate it. It's, I, I just can't find any other words to say, but glory to God, and I'm thankful, and I just feel blessed, and I feel like it's a job well done. My God, my God, my God! I want to, I want to really just like explode. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm learning how to be more subdued these days. You know, a praying mother is like what Proverbs three fifteen says. It says she is more precious than jewels. That's that 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 that's what a praying mother is. You know, parents, parents, I implore. For you to explore the the unlimited possibilities that your children have when you pray, when yes. you when you when you instill the love of Christ. Now, let me tell you something. Now, there are many parents that do this. And their children are successful. I just wanted you, I wanted you, the listener, the Christian, the believer, to to not give up, to stay intact with what the Lord tells you. Remember your upbringings and teach your children. There's a revival that's about to happen. And see, and see, what happens is, is that, right? Satan is out there and it wants to do nothing more than distract our young people so that they can't be successful. Satan wants to distract the parent. It wants to distract the parent with work, with uh, opening up a business, with, 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 with trying to make it in life, with the bills and so forth and so on, so that they can't focus on the children. Teaching the children. What is what's the Bible? What's the what's what's the what's the Bible? What's, what's the word say? Um, Sister Desiree, train the child up in the way that he way or she should go. Yes. Right. Yes. That's right. They might waver, but they will come back. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and sister and, and and Jade said it. Daughter Jade said it that you know, hey, you know, she was a little lukewarm, but she came right back. You see, um, I was just ministering to this young man who. Who was on the fence, right? His, his mother was a God fearing lady, um, but he was on the fence, and I got wind of it. So I gave him the the jewels of scripture and how to apply it to life in a way where you would say that I was kind of rough on him, right? Okay. But, but. He understood. And I got to let you know something, parents. Don't think that your children are listening and watching. But they appreciate, they can appreciate the parent that stays on them. The parent that will keep on praying for them. The parent that will keep on talking to them. The parent that insists on bringing Christ into the picture. Later, I don't care where your child has fallen, where they backslid or whatever the case. Uh, if When you keep on talking to them, no matter what, eventually they're going to catch up. And like uh, Sister Desiree said, they're going to come back. They're going to come back and they're going to thank you so much that you didn't give up. On them, they want that attention. You don't have to make a negative attention. You can make you you can have it in, in, in a godly way. Be 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 attentive to them and and by Holy Spirit, not by your emotions. Be attentive to them by the Word of God. What do you think about that, Sister Desiree? 
I think that that is a great learning experience for the parents and for the children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That just put God first, keep praying, keep talking to them, encourage them, mm-hmm. let them know you love them, you're there for them. And God is real. A Amen. lot of people don't believe that. Yes. God is real. Yes. 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 You have living. This is testimony. This is living proof that God is real. She instilled God in them. She instilled Christ in them. And look at them. Not only, not only are they eloquent. Not only are they intelligent, not only are they Christ lovers, but they are so respectful and kind. And that comes right from you, Sister Desiree, because I knew you before I knew them. And I've we, we always said, me, me and my wife, we always say that she, she's such a kind person, just so respectful and just nice. And in Proverbs 31, 26, it says, she opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. And th- how you speak is how they speak. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, Sister Jade, is that is that why you're so, so respectful? Because you're very respectful. Yes, definitely very much respectful. Um, I agree with everything I was saying. It is very much respectful. You know, I don't know. I think when dealing with God, respect is very much, it's very much important, especially if somebody is pushing God onto you, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it really is respect. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Daughter Jade, I just want you, I need you to stop saying, I don't know, because you have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God, right? Amen. All right. So, so, so try, try to, try to take that out of your vernacular. I noticed that in the, in the, in the, in the, in the young people. They say, I don't know a lot of times. Satan, Satan, to play on that. You know. Amen. I, don't you know? I, I, Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 Wait, one more time. Write that down. Uh, yeah, uh, I, what, what, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's about the wisdom. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You have the mind of Christ. And the wisdom of God. Therefore, you have perfect knowledge and understanding of every situation that you get into. And we'll talk behind the scenes more about that, okay? Amen. 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 Yes, yes. Now I'll make sure you get that. Uh amen. Daughter Jewel, what do you what do you, what, what 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 say you about the, the respect that your mom's has and how how it's siphoned to you? It shows how I interact daily with different people I encounter, even different situations. I like to step back and just think for a moment and remember who I am in Christ before responding. That's deep. That's deep right there. She 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 thinks of she thinks of Christ. How would how would Christ respond? How would Christ respond in situations like that? It says in the word, I was just reading this word, and I apologize that I don't remember. Uh, it said, uh, uh, always, I'm paraphrasing here, but basically it said just what you said, um, daughter Jewel, that you want to think about everything that you say to make sure that what you say is like is sweet like honey. You know, yes. so that the listener can hear it. It also says, make sure that um, when you speak, that you're that you're you're in the mode of ministering, that you're in ministry mode at all times, because you know, power, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Amen. 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 And that's why it says in Proverbs thirty one twenty six uh, that when, when she teaches, she teaches kindness off her tongue and it's and it's deemed as wisdom which if you know in the bible in proverbs again it says that that it connotates wisdom as being a a her female she amen so you definitely sister sister um, desiree you definitely flow in that regard with wisdom and kindness you know and of course that must have been from your 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 great grandmother as well (laughs) Amen. Yes, she stayed in the Bible. Mm-hmm. She had um, the big. I don't know if you remember, but when I was younger, everybody had this big white, big 
Bible. Yep. She had that at the table with a dictionary. And I said, Grandma, why you got the dictionary with the Bible? She said, for words I don't know and don't understand, I look it up. Mm. And I was like, that's nice. And she also had paper and pen with her to write things down. Mm. I can remember it so clear. Wow. Wow. So, wow. I, I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm taking notes here. So, that, you know, me, me and, me and wifey have uh, children of our own that we, we follow in that, in that stance too, you okay. know? You know, we got, you know, we got to do, we got to get some praying men on the show, you know, <laughs> we got to yes. get some of them too, you know, because, um, they're out there too. They're out there too. Yes, they are. You know, um, Amen. yeah. What, 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 what are we doing here? What we're doing here is we're showing the, the love of a mother, the love of Christ being shown through the love of a mother towards her children. Ladies, I don't ever want to hear you say that you can't, you won't, or you don't. We're going to replace that with the spirit of I can, I will, and I do. Sister Desiree is living proof. She had nine children. Count them off. Nine children. They, she did it with them through Christ. Don't tell me you can't do it. That's all I'm going to say to that. Sister J- Desiree, how yes. how did you come up with their names, Jewel and Jade, which I always get mixed up with them? <laughs> <laughs> I just love all my children have names like that. I have a, a star, unique, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. diamond, Jewel, Jade. Yeah, wow. I just, yes. I love it. Thank you. I, I, I really do. I really do. Um and so, what, what? What? I mean, well, what started you off thinking of these names like this? Like, uh, obviously, it must have been God, but it had to be something because it, they, they're all unique. I mean, huh? Yeah. And then I heard, um, you know, of course, other people um, had names such as them as well. Okay. 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 And I liked it. And I was like, oh, whenever I have a child, I'm going to name it that, too. I like nice, that name. Nice, nice, yes. nice. Wow, 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 wow. Mm-hmm. Star, unique, diamond, jewel, jade. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a star with an A. Oh, a star. I was looking for something with an A. Mm-hmm. And um, I originally was going to name a star something else. And my mom said to me, I thought you was looking for something with an A. And then I said I was, but the only thing I could think of is Alicia and my mother said, oh, no, why did you drop the L? Because I was going to name her one star. And she oh. said, no, drop the L. Uh-huh. And how about a star? And I kept saying it. I said, a star, a star, a star. Yes. Then I said, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. 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 So, okay. So, so speak to me because... um Jade, while Jade, while Jade is so cool, right? I'm, I mean, all the names is cool, but then I thought about Coretta, and not Coretta. That is, that is like from back in the day. You know? Right, <laughs> so, that so was right. from Coretta um, Scott King, oh. and also my pastor, Doctor Bush's daughter, oh. her, his oldest daughter, name is Coretta, oh. and also from um, her. Um, dad wanted to say and he was like oh why we don't say something to match with Corey's name I like Coretta mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I was just I kept thinking and I kept thinking and then I thought about um Coretta Scott okay King and okay I thought about my pastor who I love so much Dr. Bush and uh-huh. his daughter name uh-huh. is Coretta uh-huh. and I was like okay yeah we could do it so that's what I did. And actually, I have five daughters, and all of their middle names is Desiree. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow, wow. Yes. You know, you know, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, um, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Um, I, I lost, I lost, um, I lost uh, Coretta. Uh, your daughter, one of your daughters, and she's trying to get back on. I don't oh. know. Yeah, I, let, 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 let me see if I could uh, 
Let me see okay. if I could do this. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, 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 Sister Desi, say a prayer in the meantime, please, that I could get her back okay. on. Yeah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. We thank you for gathering in the name of Jesus, oh God. I ask that you would do what you always do, and that's never. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. We're just getting her back on the line, hallelujah. We're just praying in tongues, hallelujah. Oh God and his wife, I continue to just lift them up and not just him. I just want to lift up the world and lift up the sickness and just lift up those in bereavement, the sick, the shut in, those who know you and those who don't. Yes, Lord. And thank you for the parents and everyone that's listening. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Thank you for amen. helping that. She's back. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, so all you got, all of them have the middle name Desiree. Yes, ah, I love it. I love yes, it. I love like it. Me, she has two middle names. Oh, really? So, okay, yes. right? Okay, I so got. She's Coretta J. Desiree. You know yes. what? You know what? That's that. I mean, I mean, besides besides Christ, that seems to be the that seems to be why they're just like you because. They they have a part of you in them, even with the name. <laughs> you got the DNA, yes. Christ, and the name. Wow, yes. wow, we. So, so I, did I just say wow, we, man? Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so check this out, Jade, Jade, and and Jewel, Jewel, you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so let me let me let me ask you let, let me ask both of you a question. Um, are you guys going to carry on in the same way that sh- that your moms did to you? Will you do to your children? As far as her teachings and um, like the values and everything? Yes. For sure. Definitely. Okay. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Uh, what say you, uh, uh, Jade? Yes, I do agree. I definitely am, especially God. I'm definitely introducing my children to God. I'm talking to my children, like, you feel me, even before they're here. I don't really talk about children much, because I ain't having no ladies. No time to child. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. when I do, they are going to know God, of course. Amen. <laughs> so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, like I said, when you train a child up, Right, we got living proof on the line now. Like I said, I had a, I had somebody else try to come to me and tell me that Christ ain't real. This has to be Christ. It could be no other way. It could be no other way. She taught her her parents, her 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 sister Desiree's uh 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 uh, uh, uh great grandmother and grandmother taught her. She's teaching her children, and now that her children are primped and primed to teach their children when the time is right for them to get married and have children. It's a process that never stops. It's 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 it's, it's a, generations. It's better to spread generational blessings than generational curses. It starts with you, parents. It starts with you. Okay, I always say that a young fool, an old fool was a young fool. Okay, but listen, listen, we got, we got, we got, we, we got young. Now, now, Sister Desiree, you know, she had nine children, but but I'm, I, I still consider her young because she got all this energy. If you see her pictures with her daughters, all the family, that, no wonder she's happy. It is true. The ch- children are a blessing. Children Amen. are a blessing, okay? Yes, and you are. and you talking to two of the blessings. We're talking to Jade and Jewel, two of her blessings that keep her smiling, that keep her happy, that keep her praying. So just imagine, just imagine you teaching your children. They will teach their children. You keep on the generational blessings. Satan can't stand that. God loves it. You keep on doing what God tells you to do. You keep on doing it and you don't stop. It's been such a pleasure. 
It's been such a pleasure, uh, Sister Desiree, having you come back on the show from the last time. What I want to know, what can you say to the to, to, to the parents out there, especially the single parents? Put God first and everything else will work out all right. Believe God, trust God, know love God for yourself. Love him with all your heart. Amen. Matthew 6. That's Matthew 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. You yes, seek the amen. kingdom of God first. Hallelujah. Jay, uh, Jew, let us have Jewel talk first. Jewel, what, what can you say? Um, and I appreciate both of you young ladies coming on on a Saturday night because you could have been any uh, on, a, on a Monday night because y'all could have been anywhere, but y'all hanging out with us. Um, um, what, can, what, 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 what can you say to the kids out there, to the young people? Um, and plus the parents, what can you say that, that where they can be inspired? I would say God is alive. God is real. God lives and he desires you. He wants you. So get to know God. Get to know the true living God. Mm. And um, I thank you again, Pastor Dwayne, for having me. I have to go run off and study okay. for my quiz tomorrow. But Amen. I love you much and God bless everyone listening. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God Good. bless you as well. Yes, daughter. Believe me, we're going to get up and we're going to talk. You know what we're going to talk about. Amen. Amen. All right. You have Amen. a blessed one. Okay, Thank Jade. You. All right. Talk to me, Jade. What can what, what can you tell the people? Um really just in summary, I would just tell the people always remain to keep God first. Even when you feel like he's not there, he really is there. Everything that was said on this episode is factuals, is testimony. Um, it's showing breakthrough and it's showing what was produced over generations. You know, my mom kept um, talking about my grandmother, Eula Porter, Eula Porter, excuse me, because it's important, it's imperative because she really installed God in us. And it was passed down from generation to generation to me and to my children who we talked about earlier who are unborn. Amen. Okay. Amen. Glory to God. Sister Desiree, I, 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 I am just totally just awestruck at your daughter's. We love them so much. They, they, uh, we, we, we're actually having them come back on the show whenever they want to. You did a good Amen. job, Mom. You did an excellent job. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. And thank you for having me. And thank your lovely wife as well. Amen. God continue to bless you and your family richly. Amen. I receive it. And I love y'all. And uh, you know, you know, you know, we love you too. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna yes. get the the prayer line going back up soon. Just hang out with us a little more, okay? Amen. Yes. All yes. right. Amen. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Brothers and sisters, there you have it. The unbelievers that are listening, there you have it. What Christ can do, God is real. God is real. And the only way that you're going to know it is when you admit it to yourself. And now is the best time to admit it. This is the time. Let's come to the altar. Let's come to the pulpit and let's make it so that you can see what Christ can do for you and your family. Repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner and I don't want to be a sinner anymore. I recognize that Christ sacrificed his life on the cross for me. I invite Christ into my life to shape me, hold me, and uh, 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 make me into what you want me to be, God. I repent of my sins, which means I make a 180 degree change to do what you want me to do, God. I thank you, God, for having Jesus come into my life to take away my sins my infirmities, my iniquities, my injuries, my guilt, my shame, my condemnation, my mistakes, and my errors. Thank you, Father. In Christ Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus, King of King, Lord of Lords, mighty name. Amen. If you said that prayer, 
You are now saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And we would like to welcome you into the kingdom. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you want to know about scripture, whatever the case, we are here for you. You can reach me and my wife, Pastor Kia and Pastor Dwayne at UFL Ministries, I-N-T-L at gmail.com. And this is the end of our show. Sister Desiree, thank you for have, thank you for coming on. Uh, uh, girls, thank you for coming on. Jade and Jewel, we will be back next week. Monday at 7 p.m. We'll see you soon. As my wife always says, ciao for now. And like I say, that's right. Hey, yo, Wayne, we about to hit up this patrol and step off to the spot. You down? Nah, man, I ain't messing with that. Why? Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. The God you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. He said, God, what? God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. That's why his blood bled red and made the curse dead. And instead, we're supposed to make sure that when we break bread, it's not by alcohol that we are led. We are led by the spirit. We obey, not to save. We prove it. When we do it to the world, we say, screw it. We go through it. Ain't nothing to it. Forget like it. We just do it. How we do it? And then, then we move it. Our feet to God. Beat all of him and none of me. Overcoming with the blood. Victory at his peak. Well, listen. Will it step God in me? Will it step God in me? God. Will it step God in me? God. 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 How can we love others if we're destroying our bodies? Ingesting poisons, popping pills in the party. Selling drugs, against the thugs, claiming Gotti. Not me, not D, I'm God body. I'm God status, armor God is my shoddy. The streets took my man's life, his name was Artie. R.I.P. to my aunt, her name was Dottie. I don't think I'm better than you, no, I'm not snotty. Jesus didn't think he was better than anybody. He just came with God's word to those who party party. To tell them all to stop that bloody Dottie. He came to separate the family daughters from their mommies he uncovered the palm readers the mystics and the swamis all the dead will rise up from their beds and their jammies and be judged by jehovah in front of all the angels in heaven god's army what is the god in me god's army what is the god in me god what is the god in me god Will it step God in me? God. 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 Spiritual, mystical, or mental. Flesh, carnal mind, you done been through. Who do you choose to cut yourself? Look into. Who's in your heart that Jesus helped you win through? The blocks that you stumble through, the devil gives you. But you can defeat him with God's strength that's in you. He will send his angels and they will protect you. Flip you above the storm when the demon tries to wreck you. Nevertheless, he'll respect you. Check you and interject for you. Will it step God in me? Will it step God in me? God. Will it step God in me? God. God. Will it step God in me? God. 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 Will it step me? Me. God. God. Hey yo, okay cousin, you know what? Teach me more about this Jesus cat. I want to hear more. Hi everybody, I'm Nina Taylor. And here is this week's Gospel News. The Jackson Southerners, an American traditional gospel.